I am Kweku Enen, CEO of Zeal Environmental Technologies. Established in 1977 to provide corrosion engineering and structural maintenance solutions to the mining companies in Ghana, Zeal in 2006 took over the going concern of Zeal Limited to operate the Takura Port Reception Facility in conformity with the International Maritime Organization's MAPO 7378 Treaty. In 2007, Zeal Environmental switch focus to the oil and gas industry and the marine services at the port of Takrati to service the oil and gas industry to help the emerging market manage their waste from the oil fields. To ensure a one-stop timely delivery of the need for waste treatment services for the petroleum and mining industries, Zeal operates this modern integrated waste management facility at Nyankrum in Shama near Takrati. We realized that with the oil and gas industry, one of the major areas of concern is how the waste being generated on the oil fields are managed. So then Zeal positioned itself strategically to provide this kind of service to the oil and gas industry. For the oil and gas industry and marine services, Zeal Environmental basically covers all environmental services that is needed by that industry in the form of oily waste management, sludges, slops, drilling mats, drilling cartons, um, anything that is not biodegradable. Zeal Environmental basically is able to help alleviate the pain for uh, industrial operators. It's not only in the oil and gas sector, we also do the mining sector as well. Um, there are so many categories of waste that come about from other industrial processes that Zeal is able to manage for our clients. You leave it up to us. In regards to technologies for the environmental services that we provide, we have a thousand kg per hour incinerator with a scrubber. What is a scrubber? A scrubber basically is a system that is attached to an incinerator which makes sure that whatever that you are incinerating nothing goes out. Whenever you incinerate, there are gases that are produced out of that process which may be harmful to the environment. The scrubber is added on with chemical addition and also with other processes to make sure that the gases coming out are treated before they are let out into the environment. And we do monitoring 24 hours a day when the machine is running to make sure that the gases coming out are not beyond what is allowable by the EPA and also by international standards. On the wastewater side, we have an oily waste treatment system which is able to treat at least 200 gallons per minute. And this oily waste system is used to manage any type of waste that has oil in it with addition with water and also sluggish. It's able to separate out these three states, which is the oil, the water, and then the mud to a safe level whereby the oil can be reused, the water is also reused, and then the mud is also reused. And then the final thing is to make sure that um, whatever waste that we are getting in the form of solid waste are managed in regards to if it's not recyclable, it's stabilized and then used for other purposes like blocks and wood construction. For time cleaning, we offer different services for um, our clients. We do refinery time cleaning, uh, which is the big tank farms. Uh, we also do oil story tanks. We also do marine type tanks for the supply vessels and also tanker, oil tankers. And also offshore, we do cargo hold uh, time cleaning services. Um, we have an offshore presence in Ghana and other countries where we do what we call demerking, uh, where we're able to go down into a tank up to um, 120 meters. And so far, we've been able to do this without any liabilities to the client and very effective. 
We have robotic systems, we have uh, automated cannons. When I say cannons, these are water blasters that are able to blast uh, the residue in the tank to agitate it enough is pumpable. And we're able to go in there with zero oxygen in the tank to make sure that whatever that is in the tank is properly cleaned. We're able to clean tanks 24 hours a day non-stop to make sure that we are meeting the client's schedule. Whilst removing the dangers of explosions, by using the best technologies available and also the best personnel. Our personnel are very trained and very competent when it comes to tank cleanings and we've had zero liabilities and also zero fatalities since we started cleaning tanks. The oil and gas industry is knowledge-based industry, skills-based industry. That's where Z believes in partnering with academia. So we have a collaboration especially with the Cape Coast University. We've been getting students from KNU University, especially from the School of Engineering, because we use a lot of chemical engineers. We also use a lot of electrical and mechanical engineers, and also uh, lab technologists, environmental scientists. We also have collaboration with UMAT at Takwa and the Takwa Technical University. You see, we believe in human capital investment, that's why we collaborated or partnered with this institution of higher learning to serve as the pool of our human resource base. Besides, you see, ZEAL's facility is being used by the Norwegian government to train Ghana EPA in oil field auditing. ZEAL has provided opportunities for internship uh, for most of our students, and not only our local students, that's the University of Cape Coast students but also our partner universities. So we've had people from Germany who are partners of the University of Cape Coast getting the opportunity to do their internship at Zill Environmental Technologies. Zill has also given employment opportunities for some of our students. For instance, one of our accounting students was employed by Zill Environmental Technologies. And it gave him the idea, or it gave him the opportunity to know how to do accounting in the oil and gas sector. The relevance of ZEAL services has attracted students, regulators and agencies as well as the Norwegian and US ambassadors. I got impressed by coming and seeing this high-tech facility and I think it uh, speaks to a lot of things that uh, are the best in America and the best in Ghana. The fact that our oil companies uh, care enough about the environment to make sure that they're reputable and credible uh, and technically proficient uh, Ghanaian companies uh, that are able to carry away the waste so as not to hurt the environment and in fact to take that waste and recycle it. ZEU's first class waste management treatment services have resulted in not just offering services to major players within Ghana's petroleum and mining sectors but also attracting clients from across the West African sub-region. For a period of almost 13 years, Zeal has been able to um, export some of our services to other African countries. From Ghana, we've serviced uh, over 15 uh, international companies uh, just using Ghana alone. When Chevron drilled in Liberia, as well as African Petroleum, Chevron and African Petroleum used Zeal's facility to manage all their oil field generated waste. Sierra Leone, Zeal reserviced Talisman Oil. In uh, Benin, Zeal reserviced Petrobras Shell in Benin. And we've also managed some wastes from uh, Mauritania. Zeal's timely chemical supply services to the petroleum industry, for instance, ensured ENI commenced its offshore Cap 3 point production ahead of shadow. The growth in Zeal's clientele has not been achieved in a vacuum, but firmly grounded on its adherence to environmental, health, and safety requirements. Zeal Environmental basically guarantees that any waste that you give us is going to be treated in the best way possible using the best methods and machinery and processes. Anything that we do, we look at the cost first uh, to the environment before we look at um, um, the cost actually to us. So 
every single process that we have here um, is certified by our ISO standards, whether it's safety, whether it's our laboratory services, which make sure that uh, all the waste that are coming in are tested uh, for the chemicals that they produce or the chemicals that are in there um, before we actually treat it. And then after the lab makes sure and certifies that whatever that we are sending out into the environment meets EPA standards or is above EPA standards so that nothing that goes out there um, is below the standards that we have set or per the ISO that we have also uh, been certified for. Zeal is mindful of the fact that the industry is a dynamic industry, not static, and therefore it grows. That's why we acquired about 36 acres plot of land where we've invested so much money and we believe in continuous improvement, the continuous investment. So our current capacity is on, even underutilized. So we, we expect more companies to come and I can assure you that we have the capacity to handle all clients that approach us to, to, to source for our services. The quality level of waste management services ZEO has and continues to offer to Ghana's growing petroleum industry as well as the mining sector gives credence to the saying that Ghana's local support companies are on the verge of making the local content law aspirations a reality. If ZEO had not set up the oil field waste management facility in Nyanko, the alternative for the Jubilee Partners and other oil producing uh, companies was to have transboundary managed their oil, uh, their, their oil food waste outside Ghana. And this was going to come at a cost. And this is translated to the profit that is accrued to Ghana because of the cost deductible or cost uh, recoverable system that the oil and gas operates. With the already compelling successes as an indigenous waste management firm, where does Zeal see itself in the near future? I see Zeal Environmental in the next years ahead. Being an environmental company that is able to reuse more of the waste that we receive in the form of recycling. The more we recycle, the more efficient we are. Uh, we have been able to do a lot with the communities and also with our clients in making sure that whatever that we've gotten, we've been able to treat it. The next step is to reuse more of it in the form of recycling so that we can close our recycling loop and be more efficient in the way that we manage the plant.